what's happening VC um, so as you can see from the title I want to take a few moments and talk about my brother my friend Robert the teacher who we all know and love I think everybody out there knows who Robert is uh, Robert of course uh, kind of took a little break from making videos not too long I mean he was just doing what we all do we all have lives and we've got other things going on uh, we have priorities obviously and just, um, so I don't ever look at it as people leaving just sometimes you got to take a break you know, no matter how much you love something it's always good to take you know take some time off so you don't ever get burnt out on it but um, uh, but it, Robert is back making some videos he made a couple videos a few days back uh, his last video was his spotlight on dust which is really cool Robert is in the, the midst of deep musical exploration and discovery um, I love that feeling of discovering something new whether it be an artist catalog or just a genre of music that I'm not too familiar with but um, so I'm glad to see you've made a new discovery so enjoy that and uh, I look forward to watching some videos and uh, seeing what you've discovered and along the way anyway um, what I wanted to respond to specifically were a few things that he had said some words that he had expressed in regards to myself and so I'll just you know, get right to the point. Robert, thank you so much for the incredibly kind words, man. I mean, I, I am truly touched. I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, I don't want to get all soft here, but you, you almost made this motherfucker cry. And I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that. That was, again, it was truly touching. Uh, you know, those were some really incredibly kind words. Uh, it's probably some of the nicest things that anybody's ever said about me. So again, thank you for that. Um, I mean, obviously, the feeling is absolutely mutual, man. Um, and also, Robert had mentioned how we had hooked up. We had our first, well, it was my first VC hookup. Um, first time I had ever met anybody from the VC. And um, we had met up here. He was in town, here in the Bay Area contacted me letting me know he was here in town and we arranged to meet up and I'm so glad that we did we had a blast I had a blast uh, so we met up at Amoeba up on Haight Street in San Francisco did a little bit of digging talked a bit and I mean that in itself was really fucking exciting because it's rare that I'm ever in a record store with anybody else but myself and I mean that's okay I don't mind being my, my, by myself digging I don't really need anybody else to accompany me while digging, but it, it, it really is a lot of fun when you have somebody. I mean, it's like a throwback to when I was a kid, when you would get together with a group of your friends who really loved digging and loved music as much as you did, you would set an entire day aside to go digging. You know, go digging, multiple record stores, spend hours in the stores, and then go back to somebody's house and listen to all these records. And I just don't have that in my life anymore, so that, again, was exciting. But uh, anyway, so... We, after that, we went to the bar next door, hung out, continued the conversation and the hang, talked about the records we bought, showed the records we bought, uh, talked about some music, of course, talked about the BC, all kinds of things. But uh, aside from that, it was just really cool to sit and chat and get to know each other outside of this whole BC thing. And um, it was just a fucking stellar hang. What can I say? I mean, I wish we could have hung out longer. It was maybe about two hours, but... But it was still fucking a, just a lot of fun. And Robert is just an exceptional human being. Um, you know, what can I say? I mean, Robert was one of the first people that I really hit it off with here uh, in the VC early on. This was at a time when I wasn't really, I wasn't making any videos like Robert was talking about. I was just commenting on people's videos. People knew me from my comments, but that's about it. And I got to say, he was one of the first people in the VC he was the first person, really, that I could think of that was, that really embraced me, you know, that really, I mean, because the vi a lot of the other people, and I won't name any names, but there were a lot of people that kind of, kind of distanced themselves from me and didn't really kind of welcome me with open arms, you know, they didn't really get involved in interacting with me, and it had a lot to do with the fact that I wasn't making videos, I'm sure. But anyways, Robert was not one of those people. Robert was so real, so genuine, and it was just all about having fun and 
talking about music like everybody else, so I didn't have to have a video for him to be, you know, or to welcome me in. But anyways, we hit it off right off the bat. We had a lot of things in common musically. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is that Robert, you know, he was one of the only people, I mean, he loves funk and soul music like I do old school soul music. And he, at the time, he was one of the only people, probably the only person that I know that was showing funk and soul music. I mean, maybe a couple other people showed a piece here and there, but to really get into it and get into that discussion, that was Robert. And, I mean, you would think, you know, we're talking about punk rock. I mean, I, although I don't know that there's any other genre of music that's disliked any more than punk rock here in the VC, but... But at the time, nobody was talking about funk and soul music. And then shortly after that, all of a sudden, people started getting involved in that conversation, which was really cool. Um, but we're also the same age, which, you know, so we had that in common. I mean, we're both uh, 43. Uh, so, you know, you definitely, I think, bond with people that are the same age. You know, I, I mean, even if you're two completely different types of people, I think that just you have that thing in common. I mean, you, we were both around and had experienced a lot of things that were going on in the world at that, at that same time. So, um, so I think that has something to do with it. Um, we went, we had attended a lot of the same hip hop shows back in the day. Uh, we both went to all those NWA and Public Enemy shows and Too Short. Uh, so yeah, we definitely had a lot of things in common right off the bat, but, um, you know, I just, I just vibed with him really well. He was one of the first people I truly connected with. Um, you know, just, you know, I just dig his personality, his vibe. I mean, he's, uh, I can relate to that. I'm, I'm, he's like one of the most laid back guys that I know here at the BC. And he's just completely 100% real and genuine. Absolutely no pretentiousness whatsoever. He's not a music snob. He's not here. It's not a competition. I'm not trying to show off. Any. It's just, it's all about the music. He's here to have fun, talk about music, show, show his records to people, share music with people. And I can relate to that 100%. And um, again, I can go on and on. Anyway, I think you get my point. Uh, Robert is the real deal, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so we'll leave it at that. But. Um, I'll close it out by saying, Robert, again, it was an absolute pleasure. I had a blast hanging with you, and i um, looking forward to the next time. Um, so, like you said, definitely keep me posted when you come through town. Let me know when you're coming through town. Uh, unlike Gil, our brother Gil out there, man, came through Berkeley, didn't even call a motherfucker up, but uh, not just busting your balls. But, yeah, maybe next time we can try to get a little group hang, get Gil, you know, if Laz can take a day off from shooting off guns or whatever he's doing out there, we can uh, all get together and do a little VC hang. But either way, you come out solo, man. You know, we'd love to hang with you anytime. So, you got my number, man. Um, so, let's move on. What else I want to say? Um, oh, also, I want to say congrats on the acknowledgement of your teaching. Uh, you know, you know, I'm not even, I don't know anything about your teaching, you know, I mean, basically, I'm not a student of yours, but I can say that from what I've heard, the little of you've shared about your teaching, um, you know, I can tell that you're somebody that you actually care, and I can tell that it's not just a paycheck for you, that you actually care about these kids, because when you've talked about your students, and I, I mean, you you seem to always be beaming with pride and, you know, and it just, it just goes to show you that, you know, teaching is much more than opening up a textbook and reading a script. I mean, it makes all the difference in the world when you have a teacher who cares and um, is passionate about what they're doing. Uh, you know, obviously for me, I can look back at my youth from whatever junior high school all the way through high school maybe with the exception of a couple teachers, but for the most part, all my teachers were completely inept, did not give a shit about any of us. They were there just looking at the clock like we were, waiting for that bell to ring so they can go the fuck home. And it was just kind of a pointless situation. That's what made going to school for me completely pointless, because I wasn't getting anything out of it. Um, and a few times when we had subs, you know, there was a couple subs that I remember that were actually really cool and I was really excited about because they had that special thing that some people have, which I think you have, 
which is the ability to somehow grab these kids' attention and make them want to learn and keep them engrossed. I mean, it takes a special kind of person. It takes what I would think some kind of certain level of skill uh, to, again, keep a group of fucking restless kids engrossed in what they're trying to teach them. Um, so I, I think it ha obviously has a lot to do with the person who's teaching. So what I'm saying is not just anybody can get out there and teach, uh, or at least teach effectively and you know have an impact on somebody's life. Um, again, it takes a very special person and most importantly somebody that actually cares and is passionate about what they're doing, like anything else in life. Um, and I think you, I'm convinced that you are one of those people who actually cares and clearly, you know, you're being acknowledged for your efforts, so pretty much speaks for itself. So with that said, I applaud you, my friend. Keep up the great work. I mean, it's just, it's, an, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to be able to teach and, and you know, impact, impact somebody's life like that for the better, especially kids like that. So again, keep up the great work. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention was Robert as well sent out some BCLT. Uh, this was shortly after we had hooked up. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to doing the BCLT video until now. As, as always, it's just due to the fact that I procrastinate, extreme laziness, whatever you want to call it. Um, honestly, I just haven't been in the proper headspace to do it, maybe just not in the mood to do it uh, for whatever reason, and I just feel I shouldn't do videos like that that are so personal, you know, where you talk about people and get personal like that if you're really not in the mood, because I just, I just don't want it to come off like... I'm doing it only because I'm obligated to do it, or I just don't want to phone it in. You know, these videos like videos like this mean too much to just phone it in. So you know what I'm saying. But I, I've got a few others to do as well. Okay, so I'm just about out of time, so I got to cut it really short. Uh, but I'll, let me just try to run through this really quickly. So he sent out a stack of CDs um, that he had dubbed for me, all types of things. Um, luckily, all the things that he sent I didn't have, so that was really cool. Uh, some Dengue Fever, Chromio, Buckethead. He sent out a handful of rare Prince CDs, which were these CDs that Prince re had released exclusively through his website a while back. And I didn't even actually have any of those, which is surprising since you know, Robert knows I'm the biggest Prince fiend and I just never got around to getting those. And he hooked a brother up, what can I say? Um, but also, he'd sent out this, this piece right here which was uh, the Grey Boy All-Stars, West Coast Boogaloo, um, featuring the great Fred Wesley on trombone, of course, P-Funk legend, JBs, the Horny Horns, you know. Um, this is just outstanding. This is hardcore funk. This is uh, a band. I think they're from, what are they, Southern California? I think they're from San Diego, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but they were kind of part of that whole funk resurgence that was happening in the, in the early 90s funk, acid jazz, they were kind of one of the, the first bands to come back, you know, bringing that whole thing back. Really just an outstanding band and record, just, I mean, if you're a fan of James Brown, anything like that, this is, this is the album for you. Also, Robert had mentioned he felt a little hesitant about letting this one go, and I kind of felt bad, I felt guilty, I told him, I said, hey man, if you want this back, I have no problem sending this back to you. As much as I love it, I, I don't want you to feel that feeling of regret. We've all been there. Uh, and of course, he said, absolutely not. No, you keep it. I want you to have it. Um, but all I can say is, man, the offer will not expire ever. So if you ever change your mind, you want it back, it's going right back to you, man. Uh, but until that time, I'm going to continue spinning this and loving it. And I, I can't thank you enough for the, the incredible gift. It's a beautiful copy as well. I'll come back again. I'm running out of time. That's why I'm rushing it. I'll do a needle drop and talk more about the CDs too. But uh, for now, that's what he sent me. Thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate that. And I really appreciate, more importantly, your friendship. And uh, I'm looking forward to, again, hanging with you again. Love you, brother. Take care. I'll see you guys soon. Later.